This is a cookbook I picked up at Box Lunch. It is a store at the mall. The first recipe I'm trying out is from the Chronicles of Narnia. It is Car Paravel eggs. Um, it's just a simple egg dish, basically eggs in a nest. Uh, I got bacon, four eggs, and French bread. You're supposed to get a baguette, but my store didn't have it, so I got French bread. So we're going to cut the bread into four pieces and for one for each egg. And I am going to toast this bread later to make it harder like a baguette would be a little harder of bread. I ended up cut, cutting six pieces, but I only used four. Um, and then you scoop out a piece, a little circle in the middle to form a little nest, essentially, where the egg is going to fit in. And you can see my spoon has um, edges. It is a group grapefruit spoon. It is very handy for a lot of things. I have like four of them there. I love my grapefruit spoons. All right, now I am going to crack the four eggs. I'm cracking in one in each individual dish. Just to make it easier later when I put the eggs into the bread nest. Alright, now my pan is warm. I am simply putting the French bread down to make it a little toasty. Um, remember, you're supposed to use baguettes, and baguettes are definitely a little more crunchy. And so I'm just toasting it for a couple seconds, um, maybe like 10 seconds. And then I will, it's just they're too thick to put it in like a regular toaster. So I'm just toasting on a warm pan. And now I'm going to spray it. This is just, you know, butter spray just so it doesn't stick too bad. And you just put, pour the egg gently in and you're supposed to cook um, two minutes on each side. And um, this is where sometimes recipes are wrong. Oh, you're supposed to salt and pepper. I just put Lowry season salt. I love Lowry season salt. Um, but if you prefer salt and pepper, this is when you would salt and pepper it. Anyway, you cook two minutes on each side, and if you looked at the picture, the eggs are definitely like um, very yolky in the picture of the recipe. And I know if I flip this over, they're not going to be yolky anymore. They're going to have they're going to be like um, the white. It's going to cook white, um, and so it's definitely not what the picture is showing. And I asked my husband, and he says there's no way that this is going to cook all the way through if you don't flip it over. So um, the recipe is definitely wrong. <laughs> so flipping it over, it is slightly charred on the bottom, but that's fine, I don't mind that. Um, and now I cook it uh, two minutes on this side. But I really want my yolks to be runny, that's how I prefer it. And so this recipe does disappoint me. <laughs> 
um, because it's not going to look like the picture. As you can see, it's white. It's still runny yolk, but it's white. So I toasted the other two pieces of bread. And now I'm going to cook the eggs, the old, the other two eggs, the old-fashioned way. Just going to fry them real quick. Um, and the pan is pretty hot, so it's definitely it only takes like a minute to cook. And um, as as they're cooking, I take my spatula and I just move around the egg snot. I am not a fan of the egg snot, but if you scrape it around, it will cook, and then you won't you won't have to worry about that egg snot. So I always do that when I fry an egg. But I still want to leave the yellow yolk because I, I prefer it that way. Now um, I am putting them into the bread bowl. You just can't see that on the screen. Or bread and nest. Um, this, I'm just going to chop up the bacon real quick. Um, I was kind of hungry at this point, so I didn't chop it very nice. <laughs> you can definitely make it look nicer um, like the picture showed but I just half, half done it. And then um, sprinkled the bacon on top. This is, if you follow the recipe exactly, that's what it would look like. If you do it my way, this is what it looks like. So then I just put um, one on each side so you can see um, the comparison. Just meaning it's a great recipe, but it's just, I don't know if anyone tested it because it doesn't look like the picture. Um, except it's still, you know what, it's a good recipe. It's cute and it has a nice story in the book.